Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting and informative video by Simply Learn. So in today's video, we're going to look at the logic of a palindrome program. So, but before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So now, without any further delay, let's begin. A number that remains the same when reversed is known as a palindrome. So for example, it could be 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 or 3, 5 or it could be 1, 3, 0, 1. So these are the few examples where the numbers remain same even when they are reversed. So moving ahead, let us understand the logic to find the palindrome of a number. So as you can see, this is the piece of code. Uh, so let's understand its logic. So whenever you are entering the number that is stored in a temporary variable and then it checks the con while condition. So while temp is not equal to zero, then it will execute this set of code. So where r is equal to r into 10. So initially if r is equal to 0, then 0 multiplied by 10 will be 0. And that is stored in r. Then again, r is equal to r plus temp module 10. So whatever is there in the temp is moduled by 10. So that again, what again here we got r is equal to 0. So 0 plus whatever we got here will be stored back in the r. Then coming to the third statement here, we have temp is equal to temp divided by 10. So temp divided by 10, the number what we have in the temp is divided by 10 and that is that result is stored back in the temp variable. And next, let us understand the logic to find the palindrome of a string. So previously we saw palindrome of a number, now we are going to enter the string. So whatever we are entering a string that we are finding the length using strlen function. So once we find the length of a string, that will be stored in length len variable. So for i is equal to 0 to i less than n, it will check if a string of i, that means the first character of a string is not equal to the last character of a string, then it will break. That means uh, it is not a palindrome. If it matches, if the first character of a string, so suppose this is the string. So it will check s is equal to n. So if it is same, then it is a palindrome. That means check whether s is equal to n, then t is equal to e, r is equal to n. If not, then it is not a palindrome. If it is same, then for suppose, let, let us keep mam, m a m. So as you can see, even when a mam is reversed, it will be a palindrome of a string, right? So that is the logic. So let us understand practically. So this is the number to find the palindrome of a given number. So here we have a variable number and r is initialized to zero and we have a temp variable. So we are asking enter a number to check if a given number is palindrome or not. So once it enter, we enter the number, that number is stored in temporary variable. So it is assigned to temporary variable. And then we have the while condition. So while temp is not equal to zero, then it will execute this set of statements. So we have r is equal to r into 10. So what is r value? 0. So 0 into 10, it will store it, uh, that result will be stored in r variable. Then again, r is equal to r plus temp module 10. So now r is 0. So then whatever is that temp, whatever number we have entered, that is in the temp variable. So that, that number module 10 we are doing. And that result again, it is stored in r. Then coming to temp. So again, whatever number we have uh, entered, that number divided by 10. So the number will be decreased and that number again stored in temp. So finally, we have a condition if num is equal equal to r. If they are equal, then the given number is palindrome. Else the given number is not palindrome. So let's execute this. So enter a number to check if a given number is palindrome or not. So let us enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and check. So this is not a palindrome number. Why? Because 1 is not equal to 5, 2 is not equal to 4 and again. So this when we are reversing it, it's not equal. So it's not a palindrome. So let us execute once again. So if we enter 1, 3, 0, 1, 
it is a palindrome number because even if you reverse this number it it gonna be the same so yeah next let's uh, now let's execute a program to find the palindrome of a given string so now we are going to enter a string so str uh, the size is 20 and we have i variable and we have length to find the string uh, length and then we have a flag which is equal to zero so printf enter a string so once you enter the string we are going to find the length of the string using str len function so once you find the length of the string you are going to store it in the variable len so for i is equal to zero to i less than length it will check if string of i is not equal to string of length minus i minus one that is if the string is p m a m okay yeah so what is string of i is this this will be first character right and string of length minus i minus one that that is last variable so it will check if this and this is same okay so if this and this are not equal then it will break the condition break if if they are same then if flag that is if whatever we have flag is equal to zero then the stringer the string is not palindrome else the string is palindrome so if it is one then it is not a palindrome because this the condition will not satisfy suppose it is string so here s and g are not equal so the first character and the last character are not not equal so it will print like a uh, string is not palindrome okay if it is m a m then both the characters are same like first character and last character are same so then it will check each and every character and then print the value so let's execute it so enter a string uh, let's enter string itself so here as you can see it's a uh, string whatever is there is not a palindrome so if you enter bam. so it's a palindrome so with this we have come to the end of this session on palindrome in C. I hope this session was informative and interesting so until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.